Hi, this is Mono. Um, this um, assignment is from Abdul Malik and uh, me, Mono Chako. Uh, so this is, um, we took a uh, data set um, with a whole bunch of data, I'll explain in a minute. And then uh, we tried to run three models through that and uh, found uh, which is better. So, um, so let me just quickly go over this. This is from the ICS dot UCI dot EDU uh, spam base data set. And um, what we did is we uh, imported the NLTK, NumPy, and Panda library. So this is the quality, I mean, this is a sample of the data. Like um, there are like 58 columns in here, and this is the frequency of the, those words that are in the, in the columns. And spam class is a, is a, would tell you whether it's a spam or not a spam. So, um, so we'll train our, our data for that. Uh, so going down, uh, we've, uh, just to examine the, the dimensions of the, the shape of the, the data sets, like 4,601 rows and 58 columns. Uh, and this is a column. And this is uh, the stats for, for those ones, like uh, the mean, the median uh, standard deviation and the four quartiles, quartiles, the count and things like that. So obviously, uh, first, first we need to clean up the data to, uh, uh, to make it uh, uh, easy to uh, do a uh, 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 to do a training. So we, that's what we did. We we did a null check. There was no null there, so we were good there. So the next stage is the data preparation. We split it into 70, 15, and 15. Train, a valid, and test sets, uh, and then. I'm going to go a little faster here. So confusion matrix. This is a method that we um, use to to evaluate at, uh, the confusion matrix at different levels. Um, and okay, the data analysis. The first one we did is a decision tree, and um, we have uh, the confusion matrix for that. And uh, this is a grid. Obviously, there, there's only uh, uh, ham or not ham. So that's why the grid is two by two. Uh, if it's a larger uh, feature, it's going to be a bigger, a bigger feature, a bigger uh, a plot, uh, and you can find the data quality from there as well. So this is the various um, confusion matrix for for different data sets, and associated uh, graphs for that. And here we have the feature importance sorted by the importance itself. And uh, that's the stats for that. Next we did is a random forest. Uh, it's also like a decision tree, but um, it's it's for a forest. Um, and and we did the same. We uh, did the same thing did that we did earlier before. And then the last one we did is the support vector machine SVM. Uh, and this is what we found here. So coming to the conclusion. The decision matrix uh, that you see here uh, on the top here it has precision recall, F1 score, and support. The precision uh, it actually tells you how many uh, of those labeled as spam are actually spam. The recall is of all the spam, how many are correctly predicted. F1 score is also um, uh, it, it's like an uh, average of precision and recall. There, so we found that. Um, uh, all, all the the scores are different, but we found that the decision tree uh, decision tree performed better uh, in terms of F1 score precision recall, and SVM did uh, poor comparatively. But everything was close, so that's all we have. And um, I I hope uh, uh, that was a, a good takeaway from this assignment. And thank you.